Welcome to the country. So I'm up early this morning, going to take you guys with me over to the home place. Haven't been out and hunting in the morning all year, so I thought I'd get up this morning early and sneak out here and see what I can see. I've done all my hunting in the in the midday in the in the evenings, and I haven't uh, haven't killed a deer yet. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit, get out this morning, uh, make a big circle around to the to the north. I got a strong south wind this morning, so we're going to go straight north all the way to the fence line, go west, and then we're going to jog back and um, kind of sit on the tip of that little uh, little hill that I have over there watch this drainage and see if uh, we can't get lucky and have a buck show up so let me get out there and see what we can see if a deer comes through then i'll be back okay guys so i'm sitting on top of the hill here overlooking the entire drainage it's just starting to break daylight now and i forgot the tripod in the pickup so I don't have anything to set you guys up on. So I don't know how easy it's going to be to film uh, a shot if I do get a shot of the deer. But I'm going to do my best without a tripod to make a video for you guys. First thing we got to do is see a buck. So I'm going to sit here for the next uh, couple hours it's seven o'clock right now <clears throat> probably stay till about 8 30 or 9 see what shows up if something happens then i'll be back So what you saw there was a little one antlered buck. Um, he came in from the west, walked right by me. I didn't film him till he was kind of far enough away where I thought he wasn't going to spook. So he didn't, really didn't get to see what he looked like, but I could have shot him real easy. He was standing there about 75 yards. Just not the deer I'm wanting to shoot. I mean. He's just a young deer, yearling deer, had one antler. And um, just, uh, I'd rather not shoot anything than shoot that one. So he walked on off to the west, went down and went in the drainage. So I don't think he had any idea we were sitting here. So I'm going to sit here and keep watching. If something else comes by, then. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for the morning hunt. Sit till about 8.30 or so. Ended up just seeing that one little buck. So I'm going to try to get back out this afternoon if I can get all my chores done in time. And uh, I'm going to go sit over there uh, on the place I have north of here and uh, see if I can see a deer in there. So I'm not going to end the video right here. I'm going to wait till this afternoon, just kind of combine everything and see if I can get lucky and get a shot of the deer over there. So I'll see you back here this afternoon. Okay, guys. I just shot a nice buck here. Holy cow. Give me a second. I oh, can't believe it. Holy cow. He's down right up here, guys. Oh, 
Oh, I can't believe this. He was walking out. I was walking out, headed back to the truck, and I saw this deer coming down the fence line. He's down right here in the field, guys. Let me get around here. Let's get up here and see what he looks like. He dropped my backpack right here. You see him right there, guys? That might be that big fork horn. I think it is. Holy cow. I think it's that big two by two. Yeah, he's down. Holy cow, guys, that's him. Oh, oh God. If you can remember, guys, I've got this deer on camera back at the home place. This is the big two by two that I seen on camera. I cannot believe it's this deer. Holy cow. Here he is, guys. Holy cow. That is him. That is the big two by two I got on camera. can't believe it hit him right there hit him right there in the neck like I said I was walking out back to the pickup and this deer come up the fence line from the from the east right where the pickup is parked actually Holy cow, I can't believe this. That is exactly the deer. The big two by two I got on camera. That is crazy. Uh, haven't seen this deer in a while. Haven't seen him ever in the daylight. Got nighttime pictures of him. Uh, obviously not the biggest deer I've ever killed, but uh, just a unique buck, just a a big fork horn, no brow tines, kind of a uh, an odd deer to see. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, hunted hard. This is day 13 of the rifle season. And I've hunted real hard. Passed up some little bucks. Passed up a small buck this morning. Uh, and... Um, had this guy sneaking down the fence line. Was able to make a good shot out of him. Dropped him in his tracks right there. Let me, uh, let me calm down a minute. Let me go get the, go get the pickup. Come back and load this guy up. And then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here he is, loaded up in the pickup. Uh, big old nice mature buck. Looks like a, you know, 150, 160, 70, I don't know. He's a big body deer, big old neck on him. You know, uh, he's gotta be a, a three-year-old buck at least. Uh, when I seen the pictures of him at night, there at the house on camera, I knew that if I ever seen this deer, I would take a shot at him. Uh, he's, um, the home place is exactly one and a half miles from where I'm at. So he's a mile and a half north of the home place where I had him on camera. Uh, way back, I think in October, I'll have to look it up and see. I've got the picture on my phone. So what I'll do is um, I'll pull up the um, the picture that I have of him at night on my camera and uh, show that picture to you. Then we'll get better pictures of him in the morning in the daylight. So uh, 
like I said, it's been a been a pretty hard season for me so far. Uh, day 13 of the rifle season. Today is December the 1st, so uh, bow season came in October 1st, so it's been two months since the season started, and I finally got a deer on the ground. Uh, kind of really w was one of my target bucks. If, if you've been following along, I had four or five bucks on camera uh, early in the season that I was trying to uh, get on and uh, just really amazed that this is the deer that I seen at the house all them all them uh, weeks ago and then he just shows up here tonight after not seeing him all this time so it's kind of crazy how how much these deer move around and and uh, how the rut you know kind of puts them in these big circles but there he is guys got one in the truck I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me this season and, and watching the videos. I'm really happy with this deer, really proud of him. Hunted hard for him. I'll be back in the morning with some better pictures, some daylight pictures of him. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll, we'll bring up those pictures in the morning and I'll be back. Okay guys, so unfortunately, I wasn't filming at the time when I seen this deer as I was walking out. So I drew this little crude little map here just to kind of show you, kind of give you a scenario of what was going on uh, right before I did get the camera out after I shot the deer. So I parked the pickup here on the northeast corner and the wind is out of the south going north. So I walked in this north fence line, walked all the way down, and then I walked down into these uh, group of trees right here, and then I hunted all along here just really slowly and until I got to this pond. And there's some brush right in here with a few trees that uh, they, they piled up right in here whenever they clean the pond out and I was sitting right here so I could see up this drainage and this drainage that comes into this pond. And I didn't see any deer in there. I was calling it a night. So I had really no uh, expectations of seeing a deer when I was walking out. So I had everything packed up. I had the camera and everything shut off. And I was just walking out for the evening. So when I got up here to the fence line, as I started heading out, I seen this buck up here coming from the east, walking down this north fence. So the pickup is parked right here. So I don't know if the deer crossed the road in front of the pickup or exactly where he came from, because on the north side of this is just an open wheat field. But nevertheless, the deer was walking right down this fence line and I was walking up this fence line right here. So at that point, I knew it's at some point if this deer got to this corner right here that he was going to end up smelling me and I was going to uh, not get a shot at the deer if he smelled me. So this distance is several hundred yards, probably four or five hundred yards from where this drainage starts to this fence line. So it's a long ways up there. It's getting dark. It's a it's a too far of a shot or one I'm not going to try to attempt. So what I had done is I'd got down on my hands and knees and I crawled as fast as I could crawl so the deer couldn't see me. This is wide open grass field. There's nothing to hide me. So I crawled on my hands and knees up until the point where the deer was getting too close to the corner where he was going to smell me. So at that point, there's another fence. I'm walking this fence and then there's another fence out here where there's an oil field location over here. 
And at that point, what I decided to do, I was probably 200 yards away at that point, is I had to take a shot at this deer before he got to this corner. So at that point, I decided to go under the fence and use the fence as a, a brace to lean the gun on, uh, uh, one of the T-posts to lean the gun on so I could shoot back this way towards the deer. When the deer made it to the corner right here, he turned facing straight away from me to jump the fence. So at that point, I'm standing over here on this side of the fence, leaning on the fence, ready to take a shot. So the deer started, went to turn to jump the fence. And at that point, it was either uh, take a shot at the deer or he's going to be jumping over the fence and onto private property and he's going to be gone. So what I did was I took a shot from there. I shot at the deer right from right there. It's probably at least 200 yards across there. And I don't think I hit the deer on the first shot because what happened was the deer turned after the first shot and started running right towards me like this. So I'm back here on the fence. He's coming right at me. So I'm letting him come and I'm letting him come and I'm letting him come. And I don't think the deer ever did see me, but he got out here about a hundred yards and he kind of got where he was broadside, but he was still running. And I took a running shot at him right there, hit the deer in the neck, as you saw, and just dropped him in his tracks right there. So that's kind of the scenario of how it happened uh, with this buck. It's just, it wasn't anything I'd done. It was just luck. You know, I, I have no idea where this deer came from. I hadn't seen this deer since um, the early part of November. If you looked at the date on the camera, on the nighttime picture, it was um, November the 2nd when I got that picture. And that's the only picture I had of him that one night. And I haven't seen him since then on any pictures on the daylight or anything. So I have no idea where that deer came from, where he has been uh, this whole season. But um, he was there tonight for whatever reason. I was able to get lucky on this buck. Because all he had to do, when I missed that first shot, all he had to do was jump the fence, and he's gone. But for whatever reason, uh, he decided to turn and come running back this way straight at me. I, I believe he felt like, you know, this is an open wheat field up here. This is all open grass. So I felt like, um, now thinking back on it, uh, he wanted to get into this drainage. He wanted to get into the trees. He wanted to be protected somehow. He wanted to get out from being in the wide open. And that's why he made the turn to come and try to get down to these um, these trees or this drainage right here, not knowing uh, where I was at or what, what was going on or where the shot came from. So unfortunately for him, he decided to turn and come my way after I missed the shot and Fortunately for me, on the second shot, I was able to make a make a good shot, an ethical shot. I pulled the trigger, the deer fell, and was instantly killed uh, as that neck that neck shot ended up um, going through his um, going through his spinal column and killed him instantly. So um, there's just a real quick scenario of what happened on that deer hunt. I didn't want to leave it the way it was without any explanation, but by the time I crawled up here uh, a couple hundred yards on my hands and knees, I was pretty much spent in the excitement and all of everything that was going on. Uh, I was pretty well uh, give out by the time I, I got to this point and tried to make the shot. So that's why I was breathing so heavy. Plus, I'm excited. Um, I get buck fever real bad. And uh, that's just part of Part of the way I do when I'm hunting, uh, um, like I said, I'm, I get really excited about it. That's why I do it. Uh, if you'll notice on the, on the video, you'll see I'm pretty excited about this deal. But anyway, I thought I'd give you that explanation real quick. I appreciate you watching and I'll be back.